Well, tonight we're following several developments related to Afghanistan. In Omaha, mourners remembered Marine Corporal Dagan Page, one of 13 U.S. service members killed by a suicide bomber during the evacuation of Kabul. Days after that attack, the Pentagon said that it prevented another one when a U.S. drone destroyed a car believed to be packed with explosives. Well, today a top general admitted that wasn't the case. Here's CBS's David Martin. One of the U.S. military's final acts in Afghanistan, a drone strike on a suspected car bomb, turns out to have been a horrific blunder. As many as 10 civilians, including up to seven children, were tragically killed in that strike. General Frank McKenzie, overall commander of the evacuation from Kabul, admitted the mistake. It was made in the days after a suicide bomber had killed 13 American service members and amid intelligence warnings, the terrorist group known as ISIS-K was preparing to attack again. We now assess that it is unlikely that the vehicle and those who died were associated with ISIS-K or were a direct threat to U.S. forces. The vehicle, a white Toyota seen here in security camera video, belonged to an aid organization and was driven by one of their employees, Zamurai Ahmadi. Six drones followed the car for eight hours as it drove around Kabul. At one stop, men were seen loading what was thought to be explosives into the trunk. The vehicle finally pulled into a compound three miles from the airport. We were very concerned that the vehicle could move quickly and be at the airport boundary in a matter of moments. The drone fired, setting off an explosion which at the time was taken as proof of the presence of explosives but now appears to have been a nearby propane tank. The security camera footage shows the car was actually loaded with water containers. Zemurai was taking them home to his family because they were without running water. McKenzie said the team that conducted the strike honestly believed they were heading off an attack, but there will now be an investigation to determine if anyone should be disciplined. Nora? David Martin from the Pentagon, thank you.